it's good YouTube. Hey, yo, Kwame, man, this for you. So remember Kwame said he couldn't go live and his internet was out and this, that, and the third? Well, this is why. This is why Kwame couldn't do it. So he can come, so Hassan can come up here and I want to think the black owned businesses. Shout out to Styles P.E. Yo, bro, what I tell y'all he was going to do? Yo, man, I'm going to take this a collage in his videos and everything he say, I'm going to have him saying the exact opposite, man. Because he's doing the exact same thing. I'm not saying don't do it, bro. I'm not saying don't promote. But be from the heart. Don't do it because people called you out on it. Like he said, I'm just like Kwame, bro. Just like him. But you just talked down on this man for doing it. Now you've been just like him. Go support. Go support all the Styles style P's juice man. bars. Listen to this man. Listen to this man. To the hit. To the so he, man. Somebody. Oh yeah, you scared, bro? You just came at this man Styles P. Minding his fucking business, bro. And you come at this man now. What I say he gonna do? He gonna come back with a kiss ass video. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then it's like y'all. It's like his fucking subscribers. Like, I can't understand this shit. Maybe I should get up on here and start rocking snap boxes and uh, start imaginary beefs, man. Go support all of his juice bars because he's telling you the juice for life. And then learn what he's doing. Hassan, he been saying juice for life the day you came at him. Calling him a drug dealer, a gang member. He been juice for life. What's different now, Haas? What, what's different? A phone call you got? His juice, his juice bar. Because if you call my phone, you know what happened. And get you a juice bar, juicer and start <laughs> juicing at home. But support those black owned businesses. Sorry, I'm still a little bit sick, man. This is, make sure you keep brothers like style. That's why I ain't really put my videos up with me on camera and all that. Because the reality of it is the most beautiful thing about you, Styles P, that I realized but didn't realize. You can't double talk yourself. You can't say you realize it, but you didn't realize it. That's the mind. That's a double-minded man. And y'all know what double-minded man is. Double. D-O-U-B-L-E. I mean, two. D-O-U-B-L-E. Double. Double mind. It's all them young brothers that's standing behind the counter in those juice bars. That's what them same brothers been working at that juice bar since you've been coming at their boss days ago. So cut it out. Thought you used to go to the juice bars. Thought you been to one. Thought you so you already already know they black employees, black owned. Like what are you talking about? Now you got a New York hat on. You came in yesterday calling my phone with a with a Flyers hat on. Like bro, you were playing military mind games. You never even been in the military. That's that being body shit that you employing. Now on, like Diddy had the word bitch assness, but now on anybody act like hot sign is gonna be banned by the shit. They actually got a job and they're working. So this is a black owned business owner with black owned workers. Now that's what's up. That's what it's all about. See the crazy part about it? Get the PO box house. Let's see how much you gonna promote. I'm a black owned business. I started my own production company. This Styles P, when I think about it, you already doing the same shit that Nipsey Hussle was doing. You just saying get your flowers for it. And I didn't really realize that until now. How? I'm sure the video out there, you trashing Nipsey Hussle too. What happened to you ain't going to be going live? You don't want the, the, the super chats and the this, that, and the third. Boy, you are a double-minded Stuck. I don't even know what to say, man. Nipsey went back to the hood and opened up businesses where there was people that was working. Like you don't see that even though you got a lot of subscribers, look at your look at your likes. Your likes is literally almost half of the hate is almost half of what the truth is. If you understand what that means, I mean people don't know how to take you anymore. It don't matter how many times I pause this video, you have that same dumb, childish, lost, looking for my mommy in the Walmart, can't find her, look. It might not have been a lot, but he opened up his business in the hood. 
so did me and plenty of other brothers and sisters like me open their stores up in the hood. And guess what? We get walked by because, oh, he ain't even mama. I, I, I don't trust him. I don't know. So, don't do this shit, bro. We've been pushing this shit. You want to get on board now because you've seen the algorithm change up and now is everybody saying, fuck you, man. Styles P opened up five juice bars with employees and every last one of them. I think we all know that. I think you're about the only motherfucker who so-called said he didn't know that. But it was the same motherfucker in a previous video. I bought and said, you've been to one of them and you want to go to another one. That's just one to grow on. We all should lead by example. You need to take your word on advice. Definitely. The same way I could sit up there and tear a brother down and disrespect him all over the internet, I could also yeah. re re respect and actually give a give a brother his accolades, give him give him his trophy for the good things that he's doing. So yeah. shout out to Styles P. Shout out to Hocus Four Fifth. Shout out to Trife Gangster for going out in the Brooklyn streets and running down on them younger gang brothers and telling them to put their guns down. Go out and support Trife Gangster and him being because for him becoming, he's running for Brooklyn borough president. You got a gang member, gang, gang, Who's gang, official gang. <laughs> you still doing it, bro. And I bet you nobody caught it. Giving praises and tearing down at the same time. You just say you know how powerful your voice is. So if you keep saying you're a gang member, I doubt somebody gonna let it. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Man, the shit I wanna say, man. Dude, running I ain't for Brooklyn anymore, man. When I do the president. president video, I that's what we're supposed to be doing. Lord that's Lord what Lord I'm Lord talking Lord. about. That's what we're supposed Lord to be Lord. supporting. Tell it, tell it. I salute you, brothers. Jim Jones. You owe the community an apology. So basically what you're saying is, is that... For all the lives that you destroyed. If Jim Jones owes you owe the word of how you did every redeem. rapper who rapped about redemption. Rap, how he rapped over the word of how... I take label his shit on no. a road to redemption at this you're point. Mad because you're Jim, type of man you owe us. You're a man high school. You're the type of man that let every type of man raise you. Every nigga influence you in a certain way. But people don't think like you, huh? We don't let rap. I know it's rap. I knew Takashi wasn't a bud. I know he wasn't doing shit wasn't about that. Like, I could run down on that nigga. So, cut it, man. Cut it. For your, for your, for your face, really, really do look like that. Might trip or fall like your boy Derek. Oh, the people. That's all I'm saying, Jim. I would love to have a sit down with you. No, you don't. <laughs> now you're going to have a sit down. Then it's going to be, oh, we get dead to be, or oh, we get dead to be. Fucking beef and broccoli looking motherfucker, man. See what we can figure out how to do to wake these young boys up that's killing in the street. You're not allowed to wake no young boys up. You ain't allowed to be around no kids. Fuck a young boy. Keep highs away from the kids. Got that evil in his eye. Or somebody black is shit. I would love to do that with you, Jeff. Or is that black guy the reason why you weren't here talking like that? <laughs> is that why you were here talking like that? This nigga... Nah, I'm gonna do a live when I say this. Shooter, that wasn't your beef in the first place. It was between me and Jeff. You didn't mind your business. I didn't see you do the same thing with 50 Cent. See how he still? He he, he can't be all the way official. He still has to somehow entertain the beat, no matter where in the equation it goes. Whether it's, I salute you, but it wasn't your beat. You didn't stay in your place. Do you understand you don't talk to grown men like that? Or is it because you've been talked to like that? so long that you just think that's how men talk your words was disrespectful we can have peace or we can have war whichever way you want so i just said he was going to do that to be with that to be then say he's going to do that shit i just said he was going to do that shit but if you want to fight 
get back at Shannon Briggs. And if you want to fight, the date is in December. We will be in the ring and we can take it from there. Or oh, we can have. Do y'all see this man on? Do you see him threatening people again? Whatever you like. Hey, do you see this shit? This nigga is sick. I'm telling you, he's mentally deranged, man. Like. He need help, bro. We gotta get him off of here. We gotta get him off of here. He gonna fuck it up for me too bad, man. It is what it is, man. Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. Leave it off on that. Yeah. 